Smart Fort Wo Cabriolet Electric Drive 2017 Review The Smart Fort Wo Cabriolet Ed is a great city car, being good to drive, easy to park and cheap to run, but it has some limitations. What is it? The second-generation Smart Fort Wo Cabriolet Electric Drive completes a trio of pure electric models from Mercedes-Benz's increasingly relevant F-City car sub-brand following on from the earlier Fort Wo Ed and Fort Fred, with which this new open top shares its zero-emissions drivetrain. With a claimed range of just 96 miles, the compact two-seater will require you to forget about extended journeys or simple once-a-week recharging. But what it lacks in overall range, it more than makes up for in its sprightly performance and outright maneuverability in congested city streets. Power comes from the rear-mounted electric motor produced by Mercedes-Benz Alliance partner Renault, which also uses it in the Zoe. In the Fort Wo Cabriolet Ed, the three-phase synchronous unit is tuned to deliver 81 bhp and 118 pounds-foot of torque. That's 5 bhp and 22 pounds-foot more than the Bosch motor used by the old Fort Wo Cabriolet Ed but 7 bhp and 44 pounds-foot shy of the larger and heavier Zoe. The new motor is allied to an upgraded version of the lithium-ion battery used by the first-generation Fort Wo Cabriolet Ed. It sits underneath the seats in a position that keeps the crucial center of gravity low and ensures there is no loss of luggage space at the rear. Despite having the same 17.6 kWh capacity as before, an improvement in energy density allows it to deliver an additional 10 miles of range. Smart also claims the recharging time of the revised battery has been halved, allowing you to charge it enough for nearly 100 miles of range in just 2.5 hours using the available fast charge software. What's it like? The Fort Wo Cabriolet Ed is a much more pleasant car to drive and spend time in than its predecessor. It's also a more engaging proposition than its regular petrol-powered sister. Its larger dimensions give it a roomier interior, in fact, it's a considerable 110 mm wider than before. The design of the dashboard is easier on the eye and the materials used inside are also of a higher quality. There's also a fully integrated TomTom -tom infotainment system with a 7.0 in touchscreen as well as larger door pockets and cubby holes for better admit storage. There's a straightforward jump in and go simplicity to driving the Fort Wo Cabriolet electric drive that should win it appeal, both as private transport and on short-term lease schemes such as Mercedes-Benz's own car to go. A new electronic management system provides finer throttle adjustment than with the old model. A good portion of torque is never far away, an earnest nudge on the accelerator gets the rear end settled on its springs and the nose raised, as the new electric motor propels the car down the road with a good turn of speed. The operation of the electric motor is terrifically smooth, quiet and seamless. While not packed with power, it manages to provide the Fort Wo Cabriolet Ed with great response and strong acceleration from a standstill making it a far more engaging choice than the petrol-powered version of the smart open top. The way it flings itself up to 40 miles per hour with all the vigor of a high-powered hot hatch is part and parcel of its appeal, providing it with nippy qualities, both away from the lights and on the run. Subjectively, it feels quicker than its official 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 11.8 seconds suggests. If you're willing to forego some of the performance for ultimate range, there's Eco Mode. Activated by a press of a button next to the gear selector within the center console, it adjusts the mapping of the throttle, caps the power of the electric motor and limits top speed. There's also a braking effect on a trailing throttle as electric energy is recuperated on the overrun and stored in the battery. This employs a clever radar sensor to provide anticipatory operation continuously monitoring the traffic conditions and setting the energy recuperation level as well as the amount of braking effect as is fit. Having its battery low down gives the Fort Wo Cabriolet at a lower center of gravity than its petrol engine siblings. It also has firmer springs and dampers. As a result, its body movements are better controlled and its ride is more settled 
particularly at lower speeds, although the steering is exceedingly light and lacking in any real feedback. Overall, it feels more mature to drive than its predecessor, with greater compliance within the chassis and improved rolling refinement. The clencher, though, is its overall maneuverability, which really has to be sampled to be believed. With a length of just 2,695mm and the smallest turning circle of any current series production car at 6.95m, the Fort Wo Cabriolet Ed runs rings around all of its rivals for sheer agility in a city driving environment. Further appeal comes with the automatically operated cloth roof. It retracts back and stows in a position above the luggage compartment at the press of a button. For true open top motoring, the header rails can also be detached.